Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a persistent Linux Mint 22.1 USB. That means you can run Linux Mint straight from your USB drive, save files, install apps, and keep all your changes even after a reboot. And let's get started. Before we begin, here's what you'll need. A USB drive. You'll need a decently sized one. I recommend at least 32 gigabytes. But if you can get a 64 gigabyte or even 128 gigabyte drive, you'll have plenty of room for your files and applications. The bigger the drive, the more persistent space you can have. A tool to create the USB. We'll use Rufus. You can download it from the official site. You will also need the Linux Mint ISO file. Head over to linuxmint.com. Click on the download tab. You'll see a few additions. I'm going with the standard cinnamon edition because it's the most popular and feature rich. But if your computer is older or less powerful, the Mate or XFCE editions are fantastic. Lightweight options, click download and choose a download mirror close to you. The download is several gigabytes, so this might take a little while depending on your internet speed. After download, plug in your USB drive. Remember, everything on it will be erased, so back up anything important first. Open Rufus, select your USB drive, choose the Linux Mint 22.1 ISO, change the partition scheme to MBR if you want maximum compatibility. Under Persistence, move the slider to set how much space you want reserved for saving changes. And if you don't see Persistence, you may need to use a tool like Ventoy instead. Click Start and let it create the USB. Once it's done, restart your computer, enter your BIOS or boot menu, usually by pressing F9, F2, F12, Escape, or Delete right after powering on, and choose the USB drive to boot from. You should see Linux Mint's welcome screen. Press Enter to boot into the live environment. One thing you should know, not all USB drives are created equal. Many cheap USB sticks, even if they say USB 3.0, can have very slow write speeds, sometimes under 10 megabytes per second. That's fine for copying a few files, but when you're running a whole operating system off it, the OS constantly reads and writes data. Slow write speeds make everything feel laggy, an external SSD, even a small one, over USB 3.0 or USB-C is much faster. Booting is quicker. Apps open faster. Updates and installs don't feel painful. Overall, it feels closer to running Linux from a real internal drive. So yeah, if you're going to use persistent Linux often or as a kind of portable OS, using a small external SSD is absolutely worth it. Now here's the magic. Let me create a few folders and then restart the machine and see if they will survive the reboot. Look at that. My folders are still here. I can save files to the desktop or documents folder, and they'll still be here after a reboot. This is a fully functional, portable workspace. You've just created 
a persistent Linux Mint 22.1 USB. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.